What would happen if something happened to you? Inside my dementia care club, I was talking to a care blazer who asked me, what do I do? I'm elderly, I'm having a hard time walking, and I'm afraid that if I fell, my husband with dementia would not know what to do. I'm afraid he wouldn't know to call 911 and get some help. Here are two quick ideas that you can start thinking about if you're concerned about your own health and safety should something happen. Now, number one, you could consider if falling is a concern for you, you could consider getting some sort of life alert device, guardian alert, where you wear it around your neck and if you did fall and you couldn't get up, you can press it and it would call emergency personnel immediately without having to wait on your loved one. Number two, identify somebody, whether it's a an adult child, a neighbor, a close friend, another family member, somebody where you come up with a system and you could say to them, hey, I'm going to text you or call you or somehow connect with you at least every two days. And if I don't, please reach out to me because it could mean I need help and something is wrong. So it's basically like a safety check where they know so long as they hear from you, everything's okay. Even if it's just a quick emoji or um, a picture or, or just a I'm okay little text message, it doesn't have to be big, but put that safety net in place for yourself. Now, some of you might be thinking you don't really have anybody close to you that you can ask to do that. What I want to remind you is that this is like emergency planning. This is just like some a safety net. It's not like this is something somebody's going to have to be doing something frequently. It's like a once in a while, one time only, hopefully never type of thing. So there is probably somebody in your life, even if it's a neighbor, where you could say, if you don't hear from me every two days, can you come by and knock on the door and check? And then for whoever you've identified, they can place a health and welfare check. Even if that person lives long distance, let's say they live out of state. For this care blazer I was talking to, her adult children live out of state and they can initiate a health and welfare check. A health and welfare check means uh, the person calls the police authorities, lets them know their concern, lets them know, hey, this person is supposed to contact me every so few days. She hasn't contacted me. This is our emergency backup plan. Can you please do a health and welfare check? I have called these on my patients several times when I was working in the field and couldn't get, like I was doing home visits Um, and going to people's homes if they didn't come to the door and we had an appointment and I called and I tried to reach their um, backup numbers and their emergency numbers and I didn't hear from them and that was highly unusual, I have initiated health and welfare checks, right? And sometimes the person was just on the floor and they needed help getting up. Sometimes it was totally nothing and they just forgot and they were out of town, but this can help bring you peace of mind. We can prepare for this and we don't have to wait until an emergency happens to try to come up with our emergency plan. Plan. So I put together a free sheet you can download below where you can identify who your person is, what their numbers are, leave it in your home, um, actually forward that to them so they know the steps to take in terms of um, I'll call or text you every two days. Um, please call and initiate a health and welfare check if you don't hear from me. I'll also include some links and websites where you can learn more about a life alert system or a guardian alert system. I don't promote any specific one, but you can go and do your research to see which one might be best for you. I hope this helps you, Careblazer. Do you have an emergency plan in place like this? What are your thoughts? Also, make sure you join us for the Make Caregiving Easier five-day experience. We get started on Monday. I don't want you to miss out. All you have to do is go to www.makecaregivingeasier.com. I'll see you there. Bye.